What's up, Fugler Fanatics? I'm Toy Insanity. Got two more, two new Fugglers. Now, I'm not trying to collect them all, but I saw these a few weeks ago at either Marshalls or TJ Maxx. They were only $8 a piece. Eight bucks. And I decided not to pass them up, not to pass them by. But of course, all those type stores are shut down right now. But maybe when life gets back to normal, you can uh, go get these for eight dollars at Marshalls, TJ Maxx. Also try Home Goods; they're in the same family, though they carry far fewer toys. All right. I currently, as I'm recording this, don't know their names. The names are not inside the box. There's no checklist provided. But there is a wiki. A wiki, wiki, wiki. So I'm going to look up the names, and the names will be in the title. Why are you doing this to yourself? What is he doing? Littering? Where's his face? Uh, welcoming a fuggler into your life is not for the faint of heart or stomach. To be honest, they'll probably ruin your life. But then, they'll flash that toothy grin, and it'll all seem worth it. We hope. Same copy, but in this one we see... Well, we're reminded, the ones I got last time, there was, there was, uh, there was one biting somebody's feet. We're reminded that fugglers like to bite toes. I kind of like the packaging on these, the basic, just brown cardboard packaging. I like that they vary the images on the back, though I still wish they had a big old number. Yeah, you know, it doesn't have to be big, but I just wish they were numbered and named on the box so we can keep track of our collections without having to go to a wiki. All right, the two newest for me, I already snipped a little tie down that keeps them into the box. There's a certificate where you can go register it, and that will also tell you its name. You probably already knew that. But this is clearly some kind of bat. I'm pretty sure he is in the... This bat, this crazy bat. Dude, I like him a lot. He's in the vinyl figures. And you know I'm not that much into plush. I do tag any of my plush videos with plush insanity. You can look up hashtag plush insanity and see any plush I've collected. A handful with uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. You know, uh, I know I got a batch from Ugly Dolls. And then you'll also see, if you look up the hashtag, you'll probably also see the Grumblies. Remember the Grumblies and the Crate Creatures? Those were cool. But Fugglers, I wish they would do way more figures in vinyl but this guy's super cool loving the teeth fugglers the funny ugly monsters well i don't think they're that ugly do you they definitely are funny but are they ugly much like ugly dolls they're not really that ugly they're very cute all right my other new acquisition is this fella with only four human like teeth, shiny green eyes, floppy ears, and some kind of zebra patterning. Is this supposed to be an actual zebra? No, they're just monsters. They're crazy, funny, ugly, insane monsters. This one I'm going to... I like better. Yeah, you know I'm into bat toys, and, and I also like it better because he has more teeth. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve teeth. That's what it's all about, those scary, freakishly human teeth. And this guy with a huge mouth and such a small amount of teeth. It's just not as cool to me. He's not, he's not pulling off that look. Kind of reminds me of a gremlin, though. A little bit, of, a little bit like a gremlin. <laughs> oh yeah but i'm excited to have these check the fugglers playlist you'll see my other plush fugglers just a handful but you also see the vinyl figures i was trying to collect all the vinyl figures but i think there's still like three or four that i never could find 20 sanity big blue thumbs up see you later